welcomes Yaki to the Sheraton Samoan. Thank you so much, Pahavai. I'm uh, Jack Dalton, an expert with National Geographic Expeditions on another trip around the world. And here we are on, in beautiful Samoa, once again, Samoa, on the island of Upolu yeah. um, at the Sheraton Aggie Gray Resort. And I'm here with my friend, Fahavai Lapule, and he just called me by my Samoan name, Siaki, Siaki. which I like very much. Yeah. I've, I've, known Fahavai, I've known Fahavai for many years, and he's taught me so much about traditional Samoan culture, which is one of the great cultural traditions of the Pacific. And today he's going to teach me about the contemporary Samoan art of printing on cloth. Okay, Jack. This is the rubber. You begin with a sheet of rubber. Rubber. Uh, Where does the rubber come from? Uh, this rubber comes from uh, uh, China with the plane, without anything on it. No decoration, no, no design, nothing. just a sheet of yeah. rubber. And then I put on my uh, uh, drawings. You draw on the yeah. rubber. Draw on the rubber. With pencil or pen? Uh, use the pencils. I'm making the pictures of the coconuts with the leaves. Yeah. And after drawings, I use the cutter that the artists uh, use for their drawings to cut and cut out uh, these curves to make the pictures stand out. I see. So you begin with a flat sheet of rubber from China, yes. and then you draw a design on it, a traditional design. Yes. It's an artistic design that you yeah. create yeah. using a pencil. And in this case, it's a coconut plant. Yeah. Um, there's a coconut right there. Yeah. And then you take a sharp knife yeah. and you carve but, out the design that you've drawn in pencil. Yeah. And when I cut, I always cut in the V-shape. A V-shape cut. Around the drawing. I see. When a line, and then you have the V-shape to take out this one. I see. And that's how this creation will stand out. I see. You need these deep cuts so yes. that it really, the design really stands out on the textile, yeah. on the cloth. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so, for, so after you create this um, kind of design tablet on a rubber sheet, then yeah. what do you do? And then I already cut uh, this size of cloth used for, uh, you know, coffee table uh, uh, cloth cover. Coffee table cover yeah. decoration. And this kind of cloth is what? It's poplin? Yeah, it's a poplin. Poplin. And you, this is imported also, isn't it? Yeah. And then I spread, I spread the cloth on the design. I see. And then make sure that everything is covered. I see. see? And these, these, the Samoa that's printed on here, you did that earlier with stencil, right? Yeah, see, ah, stencil. I leave this one for the last, I see. but this one is not the same as the this one. I see, yeah. This is, this, a, this is what we call a stencil. Stencil, yeah. yeah. I want to use uh, both styles on this, uh, you know, little big, small piece of material. Right. Uh, otherwise, you can easily remember where are you from? It makes it a nice souvenir when you have the name of yeah. that wonderful country on there, Samoa. And then make sure... Okay. So what kind of paint do you use? Uh, this paint is from uh, America. Yeah. It's uh, we call the Colorite. Colorite. The, yeah, the special paint for the, you know, the materials. Oh, for painting on the cloth. Yeah. I see. You can it's, uh, spend 30 minutes dry. Oh, and quick dry. Yeah, quick dry. Especially in the Samoan yeah. sun. And before you before you put on the paint, make sure that you uh, uh, have the paint all around the roll. I see, evenly distributed on the roll. See, you, you, you mix and I then see. roll. I make see. sure that every part of the roll is, is covered by the, the paint. I see, not too heavy, a thin, not too thin layer. Yeah. yeah, see, when it's ready, make sure that you know the, uh, you know the lines going. Like this one, yeah. It's going this way, and see, see how you place the rope. Very light touch. Yeah, very light. Not one, not two. It's um, you can roll and oh, roll. That's, see, that's fantastic the way see? that works. You know the lines of the leaves. See, 
She's a lime oh, lady. She? And you've selected blue because it's a darker color. You're yeah, painting in blue first. Blue. Yeah. I see. So see? if you're layering the colors, you paint with the darker color first. Yeah, yeah right? No, 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 yeah, no, 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 yeah. Look at this And you don't want to put the paint on very thick. Yeah. It's got to be a thin layer. Yeah. See? Oh, uh, yeah. See? Yeah. The, the color of the of the you know the design on the wrapper it's transferred it's, to the cloth yeah see it's, it's very much like the technique of rubbing for tapa decoration yes. for bark cloth decoration yeah. isn't it but using modern technology yes that's right paint modern cloth see? rubber see? In the oh that's fantastic yeah see Make sure that the cloth is not moving. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, see? I see, yeah. See? That's fantastic. It's very much like bark cloth, bro. Yeah. Have except, you except in the case of bark cloth, they would use a wooden board, design board, a upedi. Yeah, see? The, the, this part is supposed to be a little bit darker. Because... Why is that? The coconut. Be, yeah, because... Why? When you see inside of the leaves with the coconut, it's a little bit darker. I see. See, because of the shade. You remember the shade? Oh, yeah, yeah. You're talking about how you're planning the layering of colors. Yeah. You want that part to be darker. Yes. Yeah. See, I want to finish up the, the, the name Samoa. Do, do you let the, the first layer of paint dry before you put on the second layer? No. Oh, you do not. Yeah, we can do this all the all the same time. Oh, not, okay, now you're doing a stencil. Yeah. And how long does it take to dry? Uh, half an hour. Half an hour. Uh. See, and then I found out from my uh. La sa printing. This one's supposed to be make it the uh, darker too. I see. Okay. See? I see. And then tablecloth is ready. I see. So and on this, this on this one you're not gonna layer colors. No. Okay, just one color. Yeah, but just but sometimes you layer colors, yeah. right? See? When you move Oh, that's beautiful, yeah. See? So it's a beautiful table decoration yeah. using this technique, this just contemporary yeah. Samoan printing technique. Yeah. And then we, you put on the, on the you know, out the in the wind. sun to dry. Yeah. It's better to put on the sun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, drying Samoan style. Never use machine. Should we talk about this other one you have here? Yes. That's Jess, that's Jesse, our camera yeah. woman. Are you doing okay, Jesse? Yeah. Okay, the camera's kind of heavy, but we've got a little bit more to talk about here. Yeah. Now, now, uh, Pahabai. Yeah. This is a, um, a lava lava. Yeah. A wraparound cloth. Yes, that like you, this one. That you wear, like yeah. a skirt or yeah. sarong. Yeah. Like the ones behind you. Yes. And you've already done the central design yeah. using a, a, a rubber um, yeah. uh, sheet, sheet yeah. as we've been discussing. And now you're filling in the background. Yeah. But before you do that, let's talk about the colors. On okay. This. this one. Yes. I have three colors and we call this style a two-tone. Two-tone. Two-tone means more than one color. I see. See? You see the green one? Yep. With the yellow one? I see. And the purple one. And you put the purple on first? Yeah. Okay. Last night? The darkest color. Yeah. I put the dark color first, and then the green, and afterwards the, the yellow one. I see. And I dry it last night, ready for today. And you have to put the color on very thin, yeah. especially the purple. Otherwise, the colors you layer on top will not look very good. Yes. I see. 
And if you have to do the darker color first, first. because it, it looks very poor if yeah. you don't do that. Yeah. Darker to light. Yeah. Well, that's beautiful. That's a um, hibiscus. hibiscus style. Hibiscus style. Yeah. Yeah. It's a flower. Uh -huh. Beautiful. And right now, I'm going to put on the back up. Okay, now after you've done the central design, yeah. three colors, you did yeah. that last night, yes. you're going to do the background color. Yeah. And this background color is using a different yeah. rub rubber. rubber design tablet. Yeah. See? These look like tapa designs, or are they tattoo designs? Tattoo designs. Oh, tattoo designs. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. The, these are the kinds of designs that you use in traditional Samo and tattoo. Yes, of course. The full body or yeah. that the men get. The pay off. Yeah. Pay off. Pay off. Yeah. See? Fantastic. Spread out. See? Make sure that every part of the cloth can spread on the you know on the sheet. Yes. And then Focus on the outline of the flowers. Because you don't want to go over the edge. Yes. It's a very delicate operation. Yeah. See how I place the row? Yes. See? Oh, very gently. Yeah. yeah. Very careful. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. A light touch. As I told you, more than three roll and roll and roll. Just a little bit yeah. with each See? roll. Yeah. Whoa, it's amazing how that design is transferred See? off the tab. Yeah. Off the rubber t rubber sheet. Uh, the, the, the style of printing, you don't need to. Oh no! You need, but if you go forward, just forward. If you come back, just back. Do you think I could try it? Yeah, you okay. can. Uh, let, let me help you. I'll be very delicate. Yeah. I, this is a beautiful uh, lava lava cloth, and I don't want to. Yeah, you can. Uh, okay, yeah. so so let's see. So just. Gently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Move. Yeah. Roll and roll and roll. Till you know it's us. The You're very yeah. careful there. See? Oh, that's See? fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that is really this fantastic. Side, roll. Try to make your printing the same as mine. Oh, I, oh I'm not doing it dark enough. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing a little yeah. too light. Yeah. A little too light. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't have the touch of the master. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll let you continue. See, Thank you. That was I'm fantastic. I'm trying to uh, have this one open. Okay, nice. See? Oh yeah, yeah. You're layering. Like, I was a little too light with yeah. the touch. See? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. See? Oh, that's fantastic. Whoa. That tattoo design is really amazing. Yeah. Maybe next time you uh, will give you the old uh, about tattoo. Oh, the, next, old, the full tattoo. Next time we'll talk about tattoo. Yeah. Okay. That would be quite interesting. You spend much time uh, uh, rolling on the paint, otherwise can. Uh, oh, yeah. it starts to dry. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. Sorry. See? See? I think we slowed down when you gave me a chance to do it. See? Oh yeah, you've got a very quick but light touch. Yeah. yeah. But the, you're, you're applying just the right amount of pigment, the right, you know, just the right amount of paint. This talent makes sure you work on time because uh, the paint will quick uh, will dry. Dry. I see. And then your print will uh, go out from the right. Uh, you know this uh, creation that you have on the rubber. I oh I see. Yeah. See. You have to do it quickly because it will not uh, it, it will not appear cor correct unless you do the yeah. the application of the pigment will not look even if you don't do it quickly. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. What do you call this kind of a cloth in Sa the Samoan language? Which one? This thing that we're working on. Do you have a uh, name for this? Anybody? Yeah, lava lava. Oh, lava lava. lava, lava. Yeah, lava lava. Of course. The, the traditional wraparound garment or, or sarong type garment that is worn traditionally in Samoa. Very beautiful. So you're getting the edges there, Lee. Yeah. Oh yeah. Whoa, you are you are very efficient. Well done. Well done. The master. <laughs> the master of painting. And, oh, bravo, 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 bravo. Ready. 
Penis Bravo, up. there we go. Look at that. See? Fantastic. And then, oh, oh, there's the there's the design, the rubber design. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and there's the finished product. Yeah. Whoa, that is fantastic. So beautiful. See? Incredible. Yeah. What do you call the hibiscus in the Samoan language? Hibiscus. Aute. 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 Yeah. Aute. Yeah. This is what we call the Aute and the Tatu design. Aute, the Pea Aute, and with the Pea design. With the Pea design, the yeah. Tatu design. And this one, I bring it uh, an hour ago. It's dry now. See? Oh, yeah, it's dry. Yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. See? It's a Pua. 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 Is that the. Um, Frangipani, Frangipani, with the tattoo design again. Yes. Very, very, very beautiful. I can't bring uh, as many uh, rubber because, you know, take a lot of time yeah. preparing for the you well, know, printing. I'm very, I'm very grateful yeah. and appreciative that you brought your uh, rubber rubber design tablets with me with you today to yeah. the Aggie Gray Sheraton Hotel, so that you could teach me yeah. the traditional technique. Contemporary technique yeah. of printing on cloth. Yeah. After our talk yesterday uh, evening, and then I planned from last night to come here and meet you and show you everything what you want. You're such a good friend, Fahabai. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. So okay. this is Jack Dalton and Fahabai Lapule yeah. from the island of Upolo in Samoa. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. you welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> Fa'afetai. 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 Okay, you're welcome. Fa'afetai. Yeah.